the 10th chapter of 1 Corinthians, Paul is explaining what the term freedom in Christ really means. Here was the dilemma. If Christ fulfilled the law, can we ignore it? If Jesus already paid our debt from sin, can we live any way we want? Well, the Apostle Paul takes a unique approach and flips the word freedom on its head. He explains that if we are free to do something, we also have the freedom to choose not to do it. So today, how do we navigate these gray areas in life? Well, I'm glad you asked because chapter 10 gives us four simple questions we can ask ourselves to help us live out this life of freedom in a godly way. Number one, does it please God? In verse 1 through 11, Paul explains the true value of the law in the Old Testament. When we read the Old Testament, it should be with one purpose, to learn the heart and mind of God. Paul said that that is the reason those stories were recorded. Number two, is it helpful? Meaning, is it prosperous in some way? Does it cultivate the fruits of the Spirit? Number three, does it edify? By edify, he means does it encourage growth in the body of Christ? And number four, does it offend? If your freedom to do something offends a brother or sister in Christ, just don't openly do it to prove a point. Always strive for peace and unity. So today, let those four questions help you navigate the decisions you face. Or if you're like me and you've already forgotten those four things, just remember to live with the heart and attitude of verse 31. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God.